Boy's Diary on May 3. Topic is uh, using is the reason why I should remember what I studied. Today morning, I try to talk about uh, what I learned in Vietnamese um, at uh, the language exchange. But I could remember just 30% of what I studied, some words and sentences to reviewing and to try to talk about uh, what I learned in Vietnamese to improve pronunciation in Vietnamese. But I realized that uh, I could not remember well because uh, when I studied, when I studied uh, Vietnamese with uh, language parents, I just uh, learn, study at the moment. There is no reason to why I remember uh, what I studied with them. That That is the problem. So, and then I realized that if I use what I learned, I can remember well because uh, I have a reason to remember what I studied. So this is a uh, learning process, studying process. After learning, we use what we learned and then an our keeping memory is uh, like a storage, uh, put it in somewhere in my brain. But uh, there is no reason to remember. I don't have any storage, just uh, after studying, I forgot. And then, yeah, it also helped me to improve language. But by doing remember well and practice well is a good strategy to improve language skills. So, and then nowadays I use AI to remember well using proof reading process with AI that is very effective. In English, well, it's good to build vocabulary. I write with voice typing. After then, I probably do what I talk and then I fix and read it again. And then I upload on my YouTube channel and then I can read with the Vietnamese words with the subtitles. That is way to build vocabulary. One more thing, after <clears throat> language exchange in Vietnamese, uh, next day morning, I try to talk about uh, what I learned in Vietnamese to make sure what I remember well or how I pronounce Vietnamese. That is very challengeable because uh, Pronunciation of Vietnamese is very difficult. Even I talk about sentence, uh, talk about in Vietnamese, and then the Google documents uh, uh, didn't accept properly because of my pronunciation. So it, it's a little bit weird. And then and all the world is uh, not my own. And then uh, another or sometimes, okay, maybe I think it's still 20 or 30 percent only proper words and the others are strange words. Then I've, even though I try to prove lead with them, it, could, it cannot be uh, proof led because uh, at least I think uh, 70 or 80 percent of vocabulary uh, words should be correct 
and then and maybe the AI can recognize what I talk and then uh, support with the proper grammar pattern or the meaning process and then meaning process and then uh, I can read well this is challengeable so and then I try 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 it again maybe um, I hope uh, in this year I can I can do that I can pronounce the word so I uh, can write what I learned in voice typing with voice typing in the Vietnamese. Mm. Okay. I, today I talk about uh, using every day is the reason why I remember what I studied. This is a uh, function of storage. And then after studying, I'll try not to forget what I studied because next day I should talk about what I studied. Which makes me, which make it uh, valuable that uh, I learned with the language parents. The end. Today's diary entry is on the topic of why using what I've learned helps me remember it better. I attempt to discuss what I've learned in Vietnamese at language exchange. When I struggled uh, to recall it accurately, this uh, prompted me to review some words and sentences to improve my pronunciation and retention in Vietnamese. I realized that my difficulty in remembering stemmed from merely studying the language without actively using it. The problem lay in the lack of practical application. It dawned on, my, on me that uh, utilizing what I've learned is crucial for retention. By actively using the language, I give myself a reason to remember it. This realization led me to develop a learning process. First, I acquire knowledge, then I apply it. And finally, I reinforce it in my memory Without this active engagement, uh, the information I study fades quickly from my mind. To aid in this process, I've started using AI tools to reinforce my learning. This has proven highly effective, especially for vocabulary reading. I dedicated my thoughts using voice typing, review them, and then practice speaking them aloud. Additionally, I utilize the subtitle on my YouTube channel to reinforce vocabulary. After my language exchange sessions, I challenge myself by trying to recall and discuss what I've learned in Vietnamese the following morning. 
Now, this half me goes my retention and pronunciation, although the latter remains a significant challenge due to the complexity of Vietnamese phonics, phonetics. Even Google documents struggle to transcribe my speech accurately at times. Despite these challenges, I am determined to improve. I understand that achieving proficiency will require consistent practice and dedication. I hope that by the end of this year, I'll be able to pronounce Vietnamese words more accurately and competently. In summary, actively using what I learned is essential for retention. By incorporating practical application into my learning process, I give myself a reason to remember and reinforce my knowledge. Good.